Good day, good day, royal fans. Today's headline. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry were seated away from senior members of the royal family as a thanksgiving ceremony for the Queen as they are not part of the plan, according to a royal expert. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex attended the service on Friday at St. Paul's Cathedral and were seated next to Princess Eugene's husband, Jack Brooksbank, and the Queen's niece, Lady Sarah Chateau. Meghan and Harry's attendance at the event was the first time since they left royal work in life that they have appeared together at such an occasion. Royal expert Ingrid Seward believes the couple's placement must have rankled as she made note of the couple being sat behind the Duke of Gloucester, who is 31st in line of succession. Ms. Seward also believes the Queen left hints to the future during both her Platinum Jubilee and the seating plan of the service yesterday. She said her Platinum Jubilee photo, showing her sitting in the Victoria Vestibule at Windsor Castle, overlooking the statue of King Charles II was symbolic, hinting King Charles III will soon be with us. So was Thursday's balcony appearance with her son and heir and his son and his heirs the present, the future and the hope for what is to come? But the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are clearly not part of the plan. Tensions between Harry and Meghan and the royal family have continued following their exit from working royal life. However, the arrival of Lilibet and Archie with them for their visit is expected to have helped the situation. Following the service yesterday, Harry and Meghan are expected to privately celebrate the first birthday of their daughter Lilibet. Lilibet is having her first birthday in the UK as the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations continue. The youngster is visiting Harry's home country for the first time after she was born on June 4th last year in the couple's new home of California, USA. Royal commentator Omid Scooby speculated that Thursday, June 2nd, was likely to have been the first moment or the first chance for the Queen to meet her namesake. He also told BBC that Harry and Meghan want to be as low profile as possible during this trip. The Sussexes were not on the Buckingham Palace balcony as Jubilee celebrations kicked off, but were seen in a few photos interacting with some of the royal children. There's our royal headline for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Please do like, comment, and subscribe for more. And goodbye for now.